Hello students, welcome to today's class. In the part 1 of this chapter we see force and effects of force. In the part 2 of this chapter we see muscular force, mechanical force and gravitational force. Today we will learn the remaining types of force that is magnetic force, frictional force, electrostatic force and combined forces. At the end of this topic, you will be able to understand. Note these important points, which we covered in our last class. The force applied with the help of muscles is called muscular force. The machines are run by using fuel and electricity is called automatic machines. The force applied by means of a machine is called mechanical force. The force applied by the earth to pull objects towards itself is called gravitational force. Greater force is required to lift the greater weight. Gravitational force acting on an object is called the weight of that object. Before learning the magnetic force, first we will see what are magnets. Do you know how do the metal stickers stick to the refrigerator? The metal sticker sticks to the refrigerator with the help of a small magnet, which is fixed on the opposite side of the sticker. Let's define magnets. The substances having a property to attract certain materials like iron, cobalt and nickel are known as magnets. From the definition of magnets, we categorized the materials into two groups that are magnetic materials and non-magnetic materials. Magnetic materials, the materials which are attracted by the magnets are called as magnetic materials. For example, iron, cobalt and nickel etc. Non-magnetic materials, the materials which are not attracted by the magnet are called non-magnetic material. For example, plastic, rubber and wood etc. Now we will see the various types of magnets. Magnets are prepared in various shapes such as bar magnet, horseshoe magnet, cylindrical magnet and the ball-ended magnet. Rhea is playing with a magnet. After playing, she kept this magnet on the table. She noticed that the magnet on the table is attracting the iron nails. Why does this happen or which force is exerting the magnet on the iron nails? When the magnet attracts the iron nail, it exerts the force on nails. As a result, the nails are attracted by the magnet by magnetic force. So the magnetic force can be defined as, the force exerted by the magnet is called magnetic force. Ram is going on the playground, while going he slipped from the wet floor. Do you know why did he slip from the wet floor, and why does this happen? When Ram is walking on the wet floor, the frictional force comes into play between the floor and his legs. But this force acts in the opposite direction of his motion, due to which the force of friction between his legs and the wet floor reduces. As a result, he slipped from the wet floor. So the frictional force can be defined as, force acting opposite to the direction of motion is called frictional force. Before studying electrostatic force, First we will see what is mean by electrostatic. Electrostatic is the study of electric charges which are at rest and the forces between electric charges. Now we will see what is electrostatic force. When you rub the plastic scale against your dry hair, the paper pieces are attracted towards the plastic scale. Why does this happen? When we rub the plastic scale against the dry hairs, the friction force comes into play between hairs and scale, due to which the scale acquires an electric charge. As a result, when we bring the scale near the paper pieces, paper pieces get attracted towards the scale. 
So the electrostatic force can be defined as static electricity is produced on materials like rubber, plastic and ebonite due to friction. The force exerted by such electrically charged materials is called electrostatic force. Students, do you know, what is winnowing? Winnowing is the method of separation of grains. In this method, we separate the husk, from the grains with the help of wind. Now, tell me the woman in the given picture, which forces are exerting while winnowing. In the given picture, we see that the woman exerting a muscular force to lift the winnowing basket. And while winnowing, the grains falls onto the ground due to gravitational force. In the given example, we see that, there are two forces taken into consideration. From this we can say that, when an action is taking place, various types of forces act on an object which is in consideration, that we called as combined forces.